Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this lesson, we're going to be selecting and moving labels in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise, you'll select labels and change their location in the drawing. Your drawing currently contains many labels, as you can see right here, and some of them overlap each other. You'll move them in the following steps. Some label types, such as alignment stations, and geometry point labels are part of a label type group that shares properties. When you click one label in the group, the entire group is selected. Properties for the group are controlled using the AutoCAD Properties palette, which is available when you select the group. You can select the group and then change the properties of all the labels in the group simultaneously as you can see right here. Let's go ahead and bring that style back to its default. Alternatively, you can hold down the control key and select an individual label to change the label properties individually. Other label types, such as segment labels, are not part of a group as you can see here. Each of these labels is treated as an individual object. Labels are distinct objects that are independent of the parent object that they annotate. Labels are dynamically linked to their parent object and automatically update when the parent object changes. However, labels reside on a separate layer and are not selected when you select the parent object. If a label resides on an externally referenced drawing, the label cannot be edited in the current drawing. Note that point Parcel area, corridor, and surface watershed labels are not label objects. They are sub-entities of a parent object and their properties are managed in the Label Properties dialog box. This exercise continues from manually labeling objects. So let's start by selecting labels in a drawing. Note this exercise uses the Labels-2A drawing with the modifications you made in the previous exercise or you can open the Labels-2B drawing from the Tutorials folder. Make sure you're zoomed in into the area around the West Street label on the alignment on the left-hand side of the site. Go ahead and select the alignment. Notice that the alignment is highlighted and the grips appear along the alignment. The alignment labels, however, are not highlighted. In previous versions of Autodesk Civil 3D, labels were sub-entities of their parent object. Now, most Autodesk Civil 3D labels are independent objects that reside on their own layer. Although they are independent objects, labels are dynamically linked to their parent object and automatically update to reflect the changes in the parent object. Go ahead and press Escape to deselect the alignment. On the road alignment, select one of the station labels. Notice that all the other station labels along the alignment are now highlighted. Press Escape to deselect the station labels. Now click one of the curve labels. Notice that while the curve label is selected, the other curve labels are not. These are two distinct label object types. Label type groups are when you select a label that is part of a label type group such as an alignment station label, which is what we did before. You'll notice that the entire group is selected. If you select a label type group and use the right click menu to update the label properties, the properties of every label in the group will update. To select a single label within a label type group, use the control click method. Single label objects are when you select a single label object such as an alignment curve label, which is what we did before. Only that label object is selected. You can change the properties, including the label style and single label objects without affecting the other labels of the parent object. Go ahead and press escape to deselect the curve label. Now let's go about moving labels in the drawing. Click the label showing the bearing and distance. 
Next, select this square little grip down at the bottom and when you click on it, see how it turns red. Then, as you click and drag it, you can move it into a clear location. Go ahead and press escape to deselect the label. See how a leader line is created from the label to the alignment. Click the West Street label and notice how we get similar grips. Click the diamond grip and notice again how the grip turns red. Drag the label to the right and click. Press escape to deselect the label. Next, pan and zoom to the cul-de-sac area. Use the grips to drag the curve label away from the alignment. Click the EP station and click the grip. The grip turns red. Drag the label up and to the right to move it to a clear location. A leader line is created from the label to the alignment. Notice that the label displays without a border. The border is hidden because the drag state of the label style specified a different format for when the label is dragged to a new location. You'll learn more about label style settings in the Working with Label Styles tutorials. Note you can reset a selected label by clicking the circle grip. Press escape and do the same with all the other labels. Next, let's select labels in an XREF. Click one of the station labels on Main Street. Notice that both the Main Street and East Street alignments and their station labels are selected. The labels were selected because the labels were created in an externally referenced drawing in which the alignments reside. When an object has been created through an XREF, you can edit its labels only in the source drawing. Press escape to deselect the XREF. So that's how you go about selecting and moving labels in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.